guys, Captain Dylan Hubbard here at Hubbard's Marina, talking to you today about how to rig a double snell rig. Now, we've done videos on how to tie a double snell rig. Today, we're going to show you how to rig a double snell rig. Rigging is very important to make sure that double snell bait gets down to bottom very quickly, hydrodynamically, and making sure it doesn't spin. Tying a double snell rig is easy to do, but once you rig it correctly to make sure it doesn't spin, in and doesn't cause tangles on the way down is another challenge we're going to cover today. So first step for rigging a double snow rig is taking a piece of fluorocarbon. I always use fluorocarbon for my mangrove snapper fishing. Right here we're going to tie a double snow rig for our 39 hour fishing trip. So I'm going to use some 50 pound fluorocarbon. I'm going to pull out about five feet of fluorocarbon here. And the reason for that guys is I want a little longer leader. A, because the double snow rig takes some line, and B, because typically that gives my hooks a little further from my lead. It gives me an opportunity to present that bait a little bit more naturally. Now, to, die, to tie a double snow rig, guys, you have to have both ends of the line available. You can't have one end tied to your swivel. Now, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on how to tie this, because I've already shown you that in other videos, but we're going to show you real quickly now. So first step to tying the double snow rig is putting that monofilament right through the eyelet of that first hook and always start through the front of the hook and then you just pinch the line there. And now I'm gonna wrap that uh, floral carbon around the hook. A little easier if you have a little extra line. There we go. So once you get it started, you're gonna wrap it about seven to eight times and then pinch that leader. And now you started through the front, so you're gonna finish through the back on that first hook. Really, really simple, easy knot. Once you get that floral carbon bent, this floral carbon's a little bit stiffer than monofilament, so sometimes starting that double snell rig is a little bit of a challenge. The first hook, we start through the front and finish through the back. The second hook, we're gonna start through the back and finish through the back. So spacing on this is depending on the size of my bait. Now these are six aught hooks and 50 pound fluorocarbon for an overnight trip. So I'm gonna put these hooks a little bit further apart because I'm gonna be using a bigger chunk of thread fin. Now I'm gonna leave about a half inch between the apex of that second hook and the eyelet of that first hook. So now that I've got my spacing right, I'm just gonna do the same knot as I did on that first hook. There we go, got it started and just about seven to eight turns on the shank of that hook, pinch it. And again, on that second hook, we started through the back and we're gonna finish through the back. And now we've got our double snell rig all complete. We're gonna tighten this down, make it a little seated better. And now we've got our double snell rig ready to hook on our bait. To hook your bait, you gotta prepare your bait. So preparing your bait for a double snell rig, we're gonna do our mangrove snapper special. This is called a thread fin or sardine plug, depending on what bait you use. Right now we've got a nice thread fin here, so we're gonna plug them up. First step, trim that tail off. So trim the tail, and then we're gonna trim the head, and then we're gonna trim our belly cavity. So now we've got a nice, juicy chunk of bait here with the belly cavity open, plenty of guts oozing out, and the tail cavity open as well. And we've got a nice chunk of bait that's gonna be going to bottom naturally, looking very natural on the bottom, we're gonna be emitting a lot of smell, and we're gonna hook it and rig it nice and straight so it goes to bottom quickly. So how to start this rig is we always put the head side or the thicker side of this bait on that last hook. You want this first hook or the bottom hook furthest from your lead towards the fatter end of the bait. The reason why is we want this skinnier end of the bait pointed at your lead. That way, as the lead drags this to bottom, it's gonna go down to the bottom very hydrodynamically and it's not gonna spin on you. So the first step here to rigging this bait is you're gonna put the tip or barb of that hook perpendicular to that silver and blue line, which denotes the spine or backbone of this bait. And I'm gonna go underneath that backbone and I'm gonna pull that hook out towards the other side. Once I've got it out on the other side of the bait, I'm simply just gonna spin that hook shank to where it's parallel with the silver and blue line. Now that I've got that hook shank parallel, I'm gonna go in with this second hook 
and same thing. Underneath the backbone, out the other side of the bait and turn it parallel. So now what you're left with is a super straight, clean piece of bait that's gonna go to the bottom very quickly because that skinnier side is pointed down towards the left. So this is called a double snell bait. And you can see here, as it sits on the bottom, come a little closer, so as it sits on the bottom, it doesn't matter where that mangrove snapper bites this bait, he's gonna have one of these hooks in his mouth. So a double snell rig really enables you to catch more fish and be more efficient, especially when you're fishing for those quick biting mangrove snapper. This was how to rig a double snell rig. Again, Cap Dylan Hubbard from Hubbard's Marina. Remember, if you're too busy to go fishing, you're just too busy.